Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask questions about whether or not the old music is better or the new music is better. But this is a different series. We're doing 133 favorite artists. Why 133? It's just, I made a list and it's just where it stopped. You know, I know top 100 or something would have been maybe cleaner, but these are the people that really means something to me. And I love album rankings, song rankings, and I watch these kind of videos all the time. So number 115. So the criteria is down below. Basically, I made 80-minute playlists. Uh, why 80 minutes? That's what fits on a CD. So, you know, I made one CD, all killer, no filler, of all 133 artists. And I'm going to share this below in the link so you can go there and play it. And I rated them ranked them, played them back and forth for about a year and uh, until I came up with what I thought was a proper ranking. And then, you know, what's my live experience? Do I read articles? Do I read books? You know, in other words, just basically how passionate am I about the artist? And as we go down in the list, you'll see that my passion will grow. So this is a Manchester band and by the way if you like what i'm doing hit that like or subscribe button i often forget to say that but it's really important and you can support me on uh patreon i have a link below but this is artist number 115 and i got a couple kittens running around here they might make a little bit of noise or jump across the screen who knows but this is a band from man from manchester so you would think well gosh you know who would that be would that be the uh you know, some of the rave bands. Well, I'm going back older. This is a band that started in 1967 and is a progressive rock band. I'll bet you can hear. <laughs> These cats are just having a great time. They're young little kittens. And um, yeah, anyway, uh, they're still together. Yeah, still together. And they were one of the pioneering progressive rock bands. You know, to me, the bands that really kind of started, I kind of give Procol Harum a lot of credit. But early on, recording for Charisma Records was this band, Van der Graaff Generator. Yeah. And I love these guys. But, you know, it took me years and years to appreciate them. So have I seen them live? No, but I have seen the lead singer, Peter Hamill, in October of 2008. At a solo show, it was just him on keyboards and guitar, no band. A great show, fantastic in a little club. And I really enjoyed that. Um, do I own any of their music? Well, I don't in own any of their CDs proper, but but I have a friend who uh, made a five-CD anthology of Peter Hamill and Van de Graaff Generator. And I wanted to show you this because it's really quite fantastic. Uh, Volume 1 here is 69 to 74, and let's see if you can see this. But, and these are in, uh, you know, the slimline things. And this goes from aerosol gray machine through uh, camera. And then he made uh, this one, nice pictures. This one is 75 to 79. Made me another one. volume and you see he's aging through here this one's 90 to 2001 uh very nice and then closing with 92 to 2008 and that was the year that i saw him well that's been 16 years already so he's already produced more music but yeah i've really come to like him and really dark lyrics right really dark lyrics about you know, death or, you know, or, or, or psychological trauma or possibly suicide or all sorts of things that are now in vogue, right? Everybody's writing songs about that. So he was a real pioneer. It's a voice that's not everyone's voice, but I've come to appreciate it over the years. And having seen him live really helped appreciate everything so my friend that gave me this collection in 2008 and then we went and saw the show in 2008 
you know, I've played this a, a few times and yeah, I'm, I've been converted. So that's it. Vandergraaf generator. Uh, they have so many albums. I can't begin to talk about it. The playlist, by the way, is only eight songs because it's so long. I have a plague of lighthouse keepers on the playlist and that's 23 minutes long. So yeah, I encourage you to, uh, check them out. They're a, uh, acquired taste, but yeah, pioneering prog rock band. I just find them so different, so unique, not like any other band. Uh, I, you know, I, you can't say they sound like they did uh, tour a little bit with Genesis, early Genesis. Maybe that's the closest, but you know, Gabriel and Hamill are very different singers. So that's it. As we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>